guys, it's Clara and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to show you what I do to improve my arabesque. This workout will include two parts, one at home and one at the studio. I included this at home part of the workout so that you can also improve during the holidays. And by the way, this entire workout is home friendly. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to warm up. I start off by rolling out my back. Foam rolling actually helps you relieve muscle soreness and joint stress, which could limit your range of motion. Then I gently stretch my neck and shoulders. Be really careful when you do that because you don't want to pull anything. And finally, I stretch my hamstrings. start stretching and strengthening our back. For the first exercise, face the ground. Lift off your chest slightly, trying not to help yourself too much with the arms. And repeat this movement eight times. Put your hands behind your neck or on your shoulders for an easier version of this exercise. <music> Lift your legs off the floor, they must be together. This exercise is slightly more advanced so if you don't feel ready to do this, just repeat the previous exercise. Then lift your legs and your feet off the floor. We're gonna repeat this exercise four times because it's really hard. Go into a back bend. Don't push too much because we haven't stretched at this point. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds. between the cat and the dog position. This exercise is great to fully mobilize your spine. exercise eight times.
hold the back bend without your hands, put your hands in fifth or an arabesque, whatever you want, but you need to hold this position for at least 30 seconds. This is really what you're gonna need when you're gonna do an arabesque in the center or at the bar. Stand up on your knees and go around the world. Go into a back bend. Go as deep as you can and for a deeper stretch you can also catch your feet or ankles. your right foot and try to extend your leg behind you. Bring your foot to your leg and try to make them touch. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Then go into a bridge. Try to extend your legs, but if you can't, you can just keep them bent. The next exercise is very advanced, so if you don't feel ready to do it, just don't. I don't really know how to explain it, so I guess you'll understand with the images. <laughs> and then go into a shrimp. Don't stay for too long in this position. Go into a back bend again and try to catch your feet and extend your legs behind you. It's quite important to have good splits for a good arabesque, so I also stretch them. I won't go too much into detail for these exercises because I will share a more specific video about splits another time.
forget to go in a child's pose to prevent injuries. One very important thing to remember about the arabesque position is that it must be behind you. For the next few exercises, you will need small ankle weights. For the next exercise, develop a behind you in an arabesque and do 8 pulses. You can do this exercise either on flats or on point, but if you're a lady, I would recommend you do it on point. Remember to keep your pelvis lifted when you do an arabesque as it's going to give you a better line overall. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Hmm? Next, go into an attitude and extend into an arabesque until you feel that your back is getting tired. either on flats or on point. And for the next exercises and the last ones, you will need a flexi stretcher or an elastic band. First, go into an arabesque with two hands on the bar. Then feel free to take one arm off the bar or two if you're really good, but stay safe, please. And just as we did with the ankle weights, do some pulses with the elastic band. And now lean into a cumbria and come back up. Do this exercise for a few times. And the last exercise with the band is plie releves in arabesque. And finally, put your weights on again and practice the arabesque in the center. Now feel free to do whatever you need for your car. So arabesque, attitude, on pine, on flat. This is really a free practice. Stay in the position and spend time on perfecting every little detail. Take off your weights and do the same thing. So that's it with the video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, consistency is key. So you need to do these exercises at least two or three times a week if you really want to improve. Work hard because hard work pays off. Bye!